In this video, we've gathered 20 scenarios showing how Tesla's autopilot safety features react in dangerous situations. Let's get started. This submitter was driving his Model Y home from work in Wenzhou, China, and rain was pouring down and pooling up on the road. Up ahead, two cars had stopped behind another car that was parked in the right lane. Just as the submitter was about to pass them, one of them cut into the left lane to go around the parked car. The Tesla missed the car, but it lost control and hit a different one, rolling it over. His insurance provider extracted the collision data from the Tesla, and their final report stated that the Tesla's collision avoidance system had activated after he'd gone around the first car. This caused the Tesla to hydroplane and crash into the other car, which then flipped over. The submitter was also found 100% at fault for the crash, since he'd been driving about 50 miles per hour on a 30 mile per hour road. The insurance company also said that if he'd hit the car that was changing lanes, that driver would have been at fault instead. The submitter isn't blaming Tesla at all and personally doesn't think that the safety features caused the hydroplaning. The Tesla was declared a total loss and the submitter has already ordered a new one. Frank is participating in Tesla's full self-driving beta program. While driving in Lakeside, California, his Tesla started changing lanes to overtake the car in front of him. Right then, a car came toward him in the passing lane, going the wrong direction. FSD moved back into the other lane and avoided a head-on collision. Tom was taking his first road trip in his new Model Y from Phoenix, Arizona to Northern California. He was using the FSD the speed limit when a Lexus RX 350 moved into his lane and sideswiped him. FSD braked and tried to swerve out of the way, but it was too late. Tom took over and managed to regain control. Tom got the other person's insurance information and filed a claim with his own insurance provider. At first, Tom had to pay a $500 US dollar deductible, but it was refunded after the Tesla cam footage clearly showed the other person at fault. The repair bill came to over $9,000 US dollars and included a new right quarter panel, front bumper cover, right side camera, side view mirror, and repairing the paint protection film and ceramic coating. Jeremy was driving his Model 3 with autopilot engaged in Canada. As he was about to go through an intersection, a car in the southbound turn lane hid the car in the northbound turn lane from view. Instead of the driver slowing down to safely take the turn, they just went for it. Tesla Autopilot applied heavy braking and avoided an accident. Santi was driving home at 1 a.m. in his brand new Model 3 performance after a 100 mile autopilot drive attempting to increase his safety score from 99 to 100 with a goal of getting accepted into the full self-driving beta. All of a sudden, multiple street racing challengers passed him, and one nearly sideswiped him on the very narrow left shoulder. The car squeezed past the Tesla with inches to spare. Autopilot kept the car steady and sounded a warning alarm after the cars had already passed him. The challenger on the shoulder sprayed up rocks, chipping the Tesla's paint. Santi filed a police report and included their license plate number. Here's some footage from someone who's been in the FSD beta for a long time, one of our favorite YouTubers, Chris, who runs the channel Dirty Tesla. He finally sent us some clips. Chris has a spectacular camera setup for recording his drives, so let's listen in and see how FSD reacts to some cop cars. It looks like they're closing off the road here, so I'll probably take over. Oh, nope, will I? It's not, okay. This is good, go ahead, get over. It's not really worth it for me to, you know, interact with police in that way, it's just not safe. So hands on the wheel, the car did handle that though. Slowing down and we need to turn left here, so can it now cut back over into the left turn lane? You can do it, little, little hesitation. Wow, very cool, oh my gosh, that was really good. That was really good. I wasn't looking at the screen, so I don't know if it had a message about police. If you want to see some more deep dive videos about how FSD works, check him out. He told us he'd be thrilled with a shout out, so please go give him a follow. E2 was driving down I-84 in Waterbury, Connecticut using autopilot. He told us that this particular section where I-84 crosses Route 8 gets crowded during rush hour traffic. People usually stop suddenly here, so he had autopilot's follow distance set to 5. 
the driver on his right suddenly decided to merge into his lane, only signaling at the last minute. Autopilot didn't react at all, and Itu had to jerk the wheel to swerve onto the shoulder. That's when the auto lane keeping started beeping and attempting to force him back into the lane, which would have resulted in an accident. Itu was essentially fighting with Autopilot to stay on the shoulder. It all happened so fast that he didn't have a chance to honk or alert the other driver. Neris was driving his Model 3 back from Niagara Falls to Toronto, Ontario. Autopilot was engaged and set to about 60 miles per hour in the travel lane. He noticed a truck drive up behind him going about 75 miles per hour by his estimation. Autopilot maintained the set speed, and since he was in the middle lane, Neris figured that if the truck driver wanted to pass, he could use the passing lane. Instead, he got into the merging lane, honked the whole way past, and then proceeded to cut the Tesla off. Autopilot didn't react, so Neris took over right about when the truck almost made contact with the frunk. Neris had passengers with him at the time, and since he's from Ottawa and not Toronto, he decided not to get too risky. Still, he used the passing lane to pass the truck, while honking, before maintaining a speed of about 70 miles per hour so he would stay ahead of the truck and not have to deal with it again. Time for us to check back in at Wham Bam's garage, and today it's time to tint the headlights. Test Bros sells these pre-cut pieces of film tinted to allow 45% light transmission. They're sold in a set to cover headlights and fog lights for $100 US dollars. Wham Bam rates these a 3 out of 5 difficulty level. He said putting them on was as stressful as having a Honda behind you. Of course, if you remember his installation video for the floor mats, you know we have to take his difficulty rating with a pinch of salt. But the results look great, like a budget Batmobile. Compare them to the lights on his Model 3, which aren't tinted. Well done, Wham Bam! Shane was driving his Model 3 with autopilot engaged on State Highway 20 in Auckland, New Zealand when a Honda on his left started wandering around in its lane. When Shane was about to pass it, the Honda drifted across into his lane and autopilot was forced to veer away to avoid getting clipped by the Honda. This appears to have upset the Honda driver for some reason because he sped up and tried to talk to Shane, nearly running into the back of another car. Shane decided the best thing to do was leave, so he hit the juice pedal and made his escape. The other driver continued to chase Shane for a while, but eventually he left the highway. Shane says there are some crazy people on the roads of Auckland, and some get very triggered by Teslas for some reason. When the light turned green, the SUV in front of Joel began to turn right. Joel started looking left to make sure no one was running the red light when, all of a sudden, autopilot sounded a warning. The Tesla automatically braked to avoid hitting the SUV, which had unexpectedly stopped at a green light in the middle of the intersection. The forward collision warning and automatic emergency braking prevented a costly mistake and saved the day. Danny was driving his Model 3 with his wife in the passenger seat in Visalia, California when the driver of a truck entering the highway wasn't paying attention. The truck crossed both lanes and nearly hit Danny's Tesla. He was saved by the Tesla's quick sensors and an audible alert when autopilot swerved to avoid the truck. Danny parked at work and checked for any damage, but luckily there wasn't any. He reported the incident to the police and gave them the driver's license plate number and his Tesla cam footage. Corey was driving his Model Y from Spokane to Seattle, Washington. Autopilot was engaged when the Tesla suddenly jerked to the left. Corey was focused on the car in front of him slowing down, so the car saved itself from the other driver. Corey quickly took over and accelerated away from the other car. When he glanced back, he was expecting to see a Honda, but he was surprised to see a Toyota emblem instead. That's probably the only reason he didn't get hit. Seto was driving in Los Angeles, California when a car swerved into his lane and smacked the wall. This kicked up debris, spraying the Tesla. Seto took over and tried to swerve to avoid most of it. Sydney was heading back to Vancouver, Washington on I-5 after visiting family in Seattle when the driver of a white Mercedes changed lanes without checking their blind spot. The Mercedes almost hit his Tesla with him and his wife and two sons Sam and Mason in it. By the way, he says his boys are big fans of the channel. Luckily, Autopilot was engaged and the Tesla moved away from the Mercedes. Sydney said it almost felt like a professional driver had taken over. 
this submitter was driving down MLK Boulevard in Fort Myers, Florida toward I-75 to DJ a wedding. All of a sudden, a vehicle jumped into his lane and autopilot swerved to avoid getting hit. We're guessing that he uses the DJ air horn sound for his Tesla's horn sound effect. Anything else would just be wrong. Andy was driving his Model Y when he encountered a cyclist with a death wish. The Tesla automatically stopped and beeped at least a couple of seconds before the cyclist cut him off. At first, Andy thought his car was having some kind of malfunction until he saw the maniac zooming by. Simon was driving his Tesla to Los Angeles, California. While on Highway 154 heading into Santa Barbara, a tumbleweed rolled into the road. FSD Beta maneuvered to avoid the obstacle before he even had time to react, saving his Tesla's paint job from any scratches. Ty was driving with autopilot engaged near Pleasant Hill, California when the driver of a Ford Mustang cut across four lanes without checking for traffic. The Mustang came into Ty's lane and autopilot swerved in the opposite direction to avoid a crash. Ty said there was no physical damage, but it sure scared the shit out of him. It was late at night when this submitter had finished charging in Goodland, Kansas, and was heading eastbound on I-70 with autopilot engaged. Everything seemed normal until autopilot suddenly applied the brakes. He thought it was just phantom braking until he noticed a strange light up ahead. It turned out to be a pickup truck towing a trailer with no lights. The only light was coming from the truck, which couldn't be seen from behind because of the trailer. The submitter took over and swerved around the vehicle. Just check out these highly addictive videos from Dirty Tesla. And boom. So we slam on the brakes there. It did seem like he, wow, that person ran a red light. It, I, I disengaged there because the car started to move forward a little bit. It, he has 70,000 subscribers and 17 million video views of him driving around and testing the full self-driving beta. You should definitely head over to his channel. I think you'll be satisfied. And so why is this one of the most dangerous roundabouts in Michigan? Well, I guess there's a lot of accidents here. So people, humans are screwing this up all the time. It's a double lane roundabout. Um, and yeah, we'll see. So we got the left turn signal on, which is technically the right thing to do. And, and look at that, just gliding right through the yield sign, which old beta would never do. You'd always have to hit the accelerator to get through. We're moving all the way through. It makes that lane change, which like, I'm not sure I would have done that. A little jerky there at the end. Uh, but then we do exit the roundabout. So, oh, a mapping, oh, that was Apple Maps. That was an Apple Maps car, I've never seen that. 